I am the Rock of Gibraltar. No, you're not. What? You're not. There is the Rock of Gibraltar. Well, you're always telling me I'm with the forge. Oops. You've got this your rock? Yeah, this is the rock. Oh, okay. Sorry. You're not the rock of Gibraltar. Wah, wah. Wah. the Holland America MS Rotterdam about one hour from docking to the British overseas territory of Gibraltar as you can see. We're now getting closer to the place where we're going to dock. The side uh, engines are going, pushing us very slowly. Welcome to the British overseas territory of Gibraltar. When you walk off the ship, I would estimate it's about a one half to three quarter mile walk to the main area where there's a big square and then a street, the main street, and all this area is full of shops and restaurants. After you walk past that, there's a government building and then you keep walking past that and a little ways further is the cable car area where people line up in long lines to go up the cable and the tram to the top of the Rock of Gibraltar. There is many options for, to purchase this and they're open from about 9.30 a.m. to 7.15 p.m. The cost varies based on different packages. We did not pursue any of the packages. Uh, there's many places around as you're walking of uh, people selling excursions that are various in price and uh, type. And we chose to get one that was 32 pounds per person and it included the St. Michael's Cave. So we took that one. Over here is Gibraltar and also Spain, he said. And then across the way over there is Africa. So this is the Strait of Gibraltar. We're going up higher. He's going to buy us tickets to go into a cave, a cavern. Pillars of Hercules. There is only one road to go up and down to the top of the rock and it is very narrow and two-sided two so cars can go up and down so it makes for an interesting ride sometimes. Yeah, you're afraid? No. Yeah. Then we keep it in the front, okay? Yeah. <laughs> you give it a peanut. Don't take the bucket. Oh my God. Okay? Ah, he wants, he wants a bucket, not the bucket. Oh, one. 3D. 3D. <laughs> you stay there with the lady. <laughs> Don't poop over here. No, no, now we <laughs> check him out. Only give you a few minutes to take some pictures and check him out. Anybody wants it on the back? No. No? no. <laughs> okay. You must get food in the car sometimes, huh? Yeah, yeah, you're right. This is Dracula. Oh, no, no, you're not Dracula. You're my friend. Come. <laughs> and uh, this was done by the military in 1904 and 1908. It's not used any longer. Today we depend on desalination, so all the plates have been removed. Also, when you look down here and you look to the far left, oh you're going to see a little like beach. It. It's actually a village called Catalan Bay, where the first people who came to the village came from Genoa and Italy also to work for the British. And observe the difference of color of the beach on the left and the beach directly below. Every year, the sand, I mean. Oh, he's crapping. <laughs> We're at uh, St. Michael's Cave we just entered. They hold theaters in here. Because of the acoustics, big concert hall. See all the seats there. It would be really neat to see a concert in here or a performance of some kind. Nice. You can be the one who sets you free, but life is moving on. Don't wait until it's gone. Get to know yourself instead of copying someone. Just 
taken from the bottom of the cave. This is where we came in. All the stalagmite. That's why the difference of color. Right? And you can go up there to see views and you got the apes. When going up to the Rock of Gibraltar, famous are the Barbary apes which there are hundreds of them. You have to be careful about feeding them. They recommend not feeding them and also be very careful with your equipment as they've been known to get into backpacks and so forth. So you have to be very careful. The rock measures 1,397 feet above sea level, which is 426 meters. The isthmus is 8.9 miles across, which is 14.3 kilometers. And it separates the Mediterranean from the Atlantic and across you can see Morocco. The territory of Gibraltar measures 2.6 square miles, which is 6.7 square kilometers. It was settled by the Moors and then later was ruled by Spain and then ceded to the British in 1713. I guess they have their own private beach there. Nice. I'm a hammer, I'm gonna break ground So I know that the glory's coming any day, anyway uh, I'll make up say, tonight I'm living my life Gonna let go, love what I like There's a voice inside, confining me, defining me I got it So there in front we got Spain frontier towns called La Línea de la Concepción. It's a town over 150 years with a population of around 60,000 people. In 1969, around 11,000 Spanish working in Gibraltar. They had to go, Franco closed the frontier. So Morocco's or Portuguese came here to work. The food that came from Spain was stopped, the auction for the hospital, telephone links were cut, no communication at all. It was an economical blockade. 13 years later, after Franco's death, a change of government, Spanish trying to get into the European Union, they reopened the frontier, but it was only a partial look at the time when only British people living in Gibraltar and Spanish on the other side could cross walking, but only once a day. In 1985, it was open completely, like it is today, for all nationalities, commercial activities, and so on. So here in Gibraltar, we have a good economy. We have a finance center doing pretty good. We also have many online gaming companies that operate from here. Many of these companies employ people from different nationalities, but many of them live on the Spanish side. It's cheaper and they come in every day to work. Then we got uh, around 9,000 Spanish working here. There's been an increase lately because of the amount of construction we're in Gibraltar at the moment. We're looking at nearly 14,000 people coming in and out of Gibraltar every day to work. Then we have tourism, people who come through Lanfranti on a daily basis, sightseeing, shopping, whatever. We got around 250 cruise liners a year, generating around 350,000 passengers, and then people using hotels. And then the ships that come here for refueling, refitting, whatever, and all that moves the economy. And what's the average of the affordable apartments? Affordable apartments, uh, you buy, if you buy originally from government before it's built, you're looking at the two bedroom and the square meters around 80,000 pounds. Credit cards are widely accepted here in Gibraltar and the preferred currency is the British pound sterling. However, they do accept euros, but the uh, exchange rate is not favorable. We hope you liked this video. If so, subscribe to our channel, give us a like, and I see you next video.